Hey guys, we have a speed test here between iOS 12 and iOS 13. So, getting right to it. Now, these are different phones. You have the iPhone XR versus the XS Max, but both are the same internals. So, both are the A12 and 4 GB of RAM. Now, Apple has said that iOS 13 is faster, uh, mostly for games and apps opening and for Face ID. So in terms of boot up, uh, pretty close there. And by the way guys, this is still beta for iOS 13. So there uh, probably will be a few glitches here. All right, so first up, NBC. A slight advantage for 13, Netflix. Thirteen, Spotify. Thirteen, YouTube. Now I did film a uh, film a comparison back around October, uh, when both were on iOS twelve. Oops, one sec, guys. But the results are pretty similar, so I didn't upload it. But at least here, guys, I mean we are seeing a clear difference. So Apple said some apps would be twice as fast. Um, I wouldn't say twice as fast so far, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely a nice difference. All right, guys, Amazon. Amazon shopping. And since I messed that up, let me just close out, go back in. Amazon. And photos. All right, so now for gaming. But yeah, for basic apps, definitely an advantage for 13. So PUBG looking pretty close there. But a narrow advantage for 13. Temple Run. Again, a vintage here for 13. Mario. Thirteen. Asphalt. I have to say guys, I am pretty impressed here. I mean generally if you just have a software update, uh, it's not gonna be this much of a difference. So for Fortnite, advantage for 13. Man guys, I mean, again, this is definitely pretty impressive. All right, so we're gonna run Geekbench in a few. Actually, you know what, we'll do it. Uh, we're on Geekbench now. All right guys, so Spite Advantage for 13. So next we have Ram, NBC. Pretty close there. Netflix. Ooh, so a refresh here for 12. Spotify. iFunny. Or sorry guys, YouTube. <laughs> eBay. Pretty close here. iFunny. Excellent. Amazon Shopping. Perfect. PUBG. Yeah, very, very smooth here. So, aside from the one hiccup on Netflix for 12, uh, yeah, these are both doing a great job. Fortnite excellent. 
And last one, we have Super Mario. So I'm actually not sure what happened here. Okay, so it was just a, uh, it's probably an iOS 13 glitch uh, showing the title screen, or rather showing the loading screen for it. So yeah guys, I mean, I have encountered a ton of glitches for 13, but again, it is in beta. So should be expected. All right, so next let's do Safari. Okay, so a bit faster there. Um, so I'll clear out the web history for them. All right, so let's go to Apple. Very, very close there. I mean, I'd be surprised if this is a difference for it. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty similar there. So next we'll do a quick camera test. And I mean, I think for this guys, it should not be, I, I don't think it's gonna be a difference for it. Yeah, show me some more. So next to the face ID. Now Apple said this is 30% faster for uh, iOS 13. And wow, yeah, I mean, it does appear so. Yeah, definitely an advantage. You know guys, I mean, a lot of times the companies will say it's faster, you have better battery life. But in reality, there's not a difference. But yeah, I mean, for here, there is clearly a difference. And I think that right there, guys, this is an example. I mean, this is an iOS 13 glitch. But in terms of speed, definitely an advantage for 13. Yep. All right, guys, so remember, iOS 13 is still in beta, but definitely some extremely encouraging results. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next video.